about last class? What was the main topic on Tuesday? Can you remember? The topic was past simple and present perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Janet. So we were discussing a little bit about these two tenses, a, t a simple tense and also a perfect tense. We were discussing a little bit about these two tenses. Let me write on the chart. We had the past simple. And on the other side, we were discussing or we were talking present perfect. So we have these two tenses right here. Can you remember, um, or can you give me, that would be better, can you give me an example of a sentence in past simple? Any sentence you can imagine. Kevin, can you help me with a sentence in past simple, please? Okay, I watched TV last week. Perfect. I watched TV last week. You? And can you remember when did we use this past tense? ¿Cuándo ocupábamos este tiempo? We use uh, this in the past simple uh, in finish time and the finish time and series of finish action. Um, eso, teacher. Thank you. Excellent, Marjorie. Thank you. So we're going to use this past simple always that we, uh, when we are talking or referring to actions. Uh, that maybe started in the past. Past, so. Here we have a, an example of when are we going to use this simple past. And we are also using these uh, past tense. When? When else can you remember? You were saying about a definite time. Also, when you make a list, okay, when you make a list or a series of actions, that happened in the past. So if you maybe want to share with us, what did you do yesterday? You can also use simple past in order to, um, to tell us the series of actions that you did any time in the past. So series of actions that happened in the past, you can use it. Okay. 
And what about the present perfect? Can you give me an example of a sentence with present perfect? Uh, we have lived in London since 2010. Perfect. We have been in London. Since 19... I forgot the rest of the year. Just 1993. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, first in the perfect tenses, in the perfect tenses, we're also going to use an auxiliary. In this case, we have the auxiliary have or has. Don't forget about that. Auxiliary have or has. And the next verb, it's going to be in past participle. So pay attention to that observation as well. Um, auxiliary have or has plus the verb in past participle. When did we use this um, present perfect tense? When you want to talk about what? The present perfect we use to talk about experience and definite time and unfinished time. So an unfinished time. Exacto, and we were discussing about a indefinite time because we don't know when exactly it, this action started or when it's going to end. So we're just, well, we're going to use an indefinite time. Thank you, it's the opposite of the simple past, right? Indefinite. Sorry if I just take more time that I'm needing to write, but some of your classmates start entering, so I need to move on the screen. Okay, let me end this indefinite time. And with the past simple, we were talking about that definite time, right? We were saying that we use it just for the past, so it's a definite time. Okay, guys, thank you. Don't forget the difference between these two. The difference, to recognize the difference is very important. Can you remember maybe some of the time expressions you can see to recognize that it's a past simple? How do you know or how it's going to be easier for you to recognize that it's a past simple tense? If you see Grace? Um, yesterday, yesterday I go in, for example, 1989 in the 20th century, um, the WH when? What? When we so was aware que es el verbo to be en pasado, and when we see the word where, when, sorry, when, nowhere, when. Thank you. Or when we see last, no, last week, last year, etc., etc. Thank you. What about the time expressions for present perfect? Can you remember them? So, already, since, for, never. Just already, for, since, what? Ever, never. Never. Ever, never already for since pay attention to these to these time expressions because you're going to need it today but yes these are the main words so just in case you see one of these uh words you know 
that is a present perfect tense, the one that you will be using in that sentence or in that context. So um, more or less here we have a small summary of today's class. Today's, sorry, yes, uh, Tuesday's class. I'm a little bit lost, guys, so sorry. And let's see what do we have for today. Today we have a, a very nice class because it's a topic that you manage well. You do it every single day, so I know that you will enjoy this class. Um, let me share with you a question just for you to think about it. You're going to think, guys, about if everything, every single thing you can do on a smartphone. Imagine, tell me or um, keep on thinking, what things can you do on your smartphone? What do you usually do every day in your smartphone? And write your answer in the chat box of Zoom. Okay, so I'm I'm going to read your all your participations. Think think about what do you or what can you do in your smartphone? For example, I can have video calls in my smartphone, right? What about you? What can you do? Or what do you do, do you usually do on your smartphone? Let me read your messages. Think about all the possibilities you have. Okay, Brandon, let me say, I can do homework online, excellent. Angie, I can write a message or an email, that's right, that's very important nowadays. I can play video games, right, that's right, uh, Vanessa, yes. We can download video games and we can play them online. Well, in my smartphone, I can chat with my friends, Bibi says. Very good, Bibi. Yes, we can chat with our friends or use YouTube to listen to music and learn a bit of English. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, Wendy. I watch videos on TikTok or YouTube. I also use YouTube to listen to music and learn a bit of English, very good. Santinos dice, in a situation of need, I can edit documents for jobs, okay? Yes, we can, we can edit some documents and send like homework or something important for work, very good. Aldrich me dice, I use my smartphone to play video games, to chat, or to check social networks. That's right, that's what you usually do. In my smartphone, I can download books. That's right, uh, Grace. Yes, we can download um, books or maybe uh, ebooks. Mm -hmm. Los libros en línea, no? Um, I can order food at home. That's right, Juanito. Excellent, yes. Um, in my smartphone, you can do many things such as listen to music, watch videos, make video calls to other places on the planet. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I can do exercise with the applications. Yes. Thank you, Steffi. Yes, we have some apps that can help us in order to work out. Uh, I can record videos on my cell phone. Excellent, Carlitos. Robert, I usually play music and tune my guitar well. There must be an application so you can tune your guitar. Excellent. 
Um, I use my smartphone to scan documents. That's right, Tupac. That's a very useful app. Uh, sometimes I can watch movies. Yes, you can use YouTube or maybe Netflix or other apps to watch movies. Yes. I can watch films and listen to music. Perfect, Janet. Arlita, I use my smartphone to join work meetings. Excellent. Yes, if you have a meeting, you can use your phone. I can take photos and I can use the GPS when I get lost. Perfect. I can take photos and record videos. That's right. Personally, I think. Awesome, Alexis. Alexis está utilizando una frase que vimos anteriormente. It's word congratulating. Personally, I think uh, with a smartphone, you can work, you can do homework, make video calls and play video games, yes. Daniel says something very interesting. I can pay bills, communicate with my family, learn uh, more easier uh, anything and other things not so important like music and videos, yes. This was a good one. I can pay bills. Ahora ya podemos pagar el agua, la luz, el teléfono, la comida que ordenamos a la casa, todo desde el celular. Yes. I can make video calls. Yes. Receive classes. Yes. I can watch uh, motivational videos and I can chat with my sisters. Yes. You can keep on uh, keep uh, communicated, keep in touch, you can keep in touch. Mm -hmm. And I can edit videos in a professional way. That's right. You can, you can download thousands and thousands of apps for everything. We have apps for everything now. Um, Thank you, thank you guys. Uh, that was a very interesting information you gave me about the using or the use of apps. Um, just to keep uh, an eye on the, on the thing, I'm going to share with you um, a small reading. And I'm going to share in this uh, chat as well a link so we can start with our reading let me just move to the chat and share with you the link you will open soon there you go can you see the link on the chat box yes teacher mm -hmm. thank you so now I think I'm ready to share the screen with you. Here you have a very interesting reading. It, said, it says, what's your favorite app? Don't worry if you are not, um, if you cannot read it here because I'm going to share the screen so everybody can watch and read it. Um, what I just I, I just wanted to explain you that we are going to uh, play the same mechanic that the previous class. So we're going to answer some questions. OK, you will have a few minutes to um, to complete this. These four questions, we have four open questions. Which app is good for music lovers? Which app uh, helps busy people to organize themselves? Which apps uh, helps you make funny photos? And which app records your fitness information? Okay, so um, you're going to have three minutes to make a very fast reading of this small article. We have like reviews here of, of different apps. So you're going to, or this is going to take you three minutes just to scan the, um, the reading. Here, I, I'm going to make it 
a little bit more big so everybody can see and try to read okay at, at home you can uh, open the link and answer the questions this exercise it's going to be this time you're going to do it alone you're going to work individual you're going to work um, reading very fast this reading and answering the four questions you have in the form don't forget that you don't need to send the form okay you don't need to send the form no es necesario enviar el, el formulario solo ir respondiendo um christian can you tell me what do we have to do now um yes uh, we can read uh, the this text mm -hmm. and after the question in the link that you uh, shared us and we have three minutes to this yes excellent thank you you have three minutes um just one more thing diana is it uh in group or maybe is it individual the activity is individual mm -hmm. thank you so it's individual that's right guys so you have three minutes from now to read very fast and try to um complete the four sentences go ahead to get to get to the next level the game is very addictive how are you doing guys what do you get from this and up APP at the end of a each week. Cristiano. Teacher. Hi, hi. How did it go? Uh, good, good. Um, almost a few seconds we finished this. Okay, and we're just about to end, so you did an, an excellent time. Thanks, teacher. Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the main class. Okay, hello again, everybody. Now, can you tell me what do you get from this app? Things to do at the end of the week. Did you find the answer? Uh, once a week, it sends you a list of everything, everything you've done. You have done, you have uh -huh, done. Uh -huh, exactly. You have a list. At the end of the week, you have a list of everything you have done, right? A list. Thank you. Uh, how do you find a planet Skywatch? Did your points, your points at the Skype or type in the names of the planet? Mm -hmm. You just have to type the name of the planet, right? Type the name of the planet. Thank you. Type the name of the planet. Let's continue with Enzo. Why does Enzo play balloon pop every day? 
Enzo Me is very addictive. Because the play is addictive, right? Do you have any other answer, Carlit? Because he always wants to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And he wants to always Thank you, very good. Uh, what about this, number four? How, how can stop up make your phone work better? Because it's like a clean your phone and stop the unuseful apps. Stop using or closest, we can say, closest the apps you're not using, right? Thank you. Let's continue with the final. What information does activity tracker give you when you run? Your distance. distance and heart rate. Yes, excellent. Excellent experience. You have um, information uh, of speed, distance, and heart rate. Yes. Speed, distance, speed, distance, and heart. Okay. Yes, this would be the answers. Thank you, guys. That's right. So uh, let's move to the final part. I think you got it clear. The, the reading was very interesting about different apps. But now uh, you're going to see these three. Let me see. Here we have four sentences from the reading. You have four different sentences taken from the reading. Try to uh, read them, analyze them, and then in groups again, you're going to answer the questions. We have five questions this time. First, you will have to recognize which sentence is in present perfect continuous. Which sentence talks about a complete past activity without mentioning the time? Which sentence talks about uh, something the speaker has experienced? Which sentences talk about activities which started in the past and are not finished yet? And which sentences talk about something that happened or that which happened regularly more than once time, okay? More than, more than once, sorry. Um, so I'm going to share with you the link of this, um, of this form. Don't forget that you don't need to send the form and you're going to work in groups. For this activity, you will have six minutes this time. Okay, six minutes for this activity. You see the link on the chat box, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, so you can open it and you can work with any problem. Can you tell me, please, um, let me see, who hasn't spoken yet? Mm, Juanito, can you tell me what are we going to do now? Uh, answer the questions in five minutes. Six minutes. Yes. Are you working in groups or maybe individual? Um, Asu. Is a uh, individual teacher? No, it's in groups. It's in groups. Uh -huh. Pay attention to the groups because you're going to start right now, guys. Enter again to your groups. Enter to your groups and discuss this information.
presente perfecto social bin en el perfect, presente perfecto continuo bueno, yo en la tercera le puse que sería la primera I've seen photos where people have have on adults' bodies. Gente ha visto las caras en cuerpos de adultos. En la, o sea, en la, en la segunda iría, eh, eso le digo, la cuarta oración, ¿o no? Porque dice que hablemos, bueno, que habla acerca de una actividad pasada. Podría ser la cuarta. Porque sí. dice que acaba de instalar la aplicación Dixtudo. Uh -huh. Está en tiempo pasado, igual. Uh -huh. Ya, a ver, la, la tercera dice que empezó en el pasado. Pero ya todavía, te, no, todavía te... no acaba. Ajá. Y como y... dice Everyday, entonces creo que sí es la 2. Sí, en la 4 creo que es la 2, en la, en la 3 no estoy seguro. Porque acá... What happened with you guys? Did you end? <laughs> Excellent. Good to have you again in the main class, guys. Let's, uh, let me share this screen. Here we have four sentences, as you could analyze. I've seen photos where people have baby faces on adult bodies. Number two says, I've been playing it all on the, I've been playing it on the bus every day. Number three, I've been recommending it, uh, it to all my friends. And number four, I've just installed the things to do app. So, which sentences use present perfect continuous, guys? Two and three. Two and three. Two and three. Excellent. Two and three. How do you recognize that it's two and three? Or this part is in past okay, Yes, we're going to see later on. Don't worry. Yes, two and three. What about um, question number two? Which sentence talk about a complete past activity without mentioning the time? Number four. Number four. That's right, number four. Here we have, I've just installed the things to do up. Acabo de instalar esta aplicación, cosas por hacer. ¿Sí? Acabo de instalar. Ese acabo significa que hace unos segundos, unos minutos, acabé de finalizar esa acción. ¿Sí? Es decir, estamos hablando de una acción completa. La descarga de la aplicación se completó. Hace unos minutos en el pasado, sin siquiera mencionar eh, palabras como one hour ago, two days ago, o ninguna time expression, ¿sí? Ese just ya nos da esa sensación de que acabó de suceder hace un momento muy corto, ¿sí? Por esa razón sería la número cuatro. Very good. So, 
I've just in installed this app. Uh, number three, which sentence talks about something the speaker has experienced? Number, number one. Number two. Okay, tengo alguien ahí, number two. Alguien más? ¿Qué, qué otra opción? Number three. Number three. Number three. Cuando hablamos de experiencias, ¿cuál sería la opción? One, two, three, or four. Number one. Number one. Number, Number one. one, guys. Remember that last class we were discussing about this present perfect. Y decíamos que en el present perfect ocupábamos generalmente para hablar de experiences. Experiencias. In number one, we have, I have seen photos where you, where people have baby faces on adult bodies. He visto, ¿no? He visto fotos de personas adultas, de personas eh, con caras de niños en cuerpos de adultos. So, yes. That would be the answer. So, number one. Let's move right here is number one. Talking about experience. Um, which sentences talk about activities which started in the past and are not finished yet? Two and three. Two, three, and four. Two and three. Two and three. Two and three. We're not going to use a four. Don't forget that we said that number four was talking about a complete action in the past. Sí, la cuatro ya era una acción completa que finalizó en el pasado. Y aquí lo que nos dice es que cuál de las oraciones está hablando de acciones que empezaron en el pasado, pero aún no terminan. Sí, aún no terminan. So, I have been playing it on the bus all day. Eh, que era la número dos y la número tres que tenemos I've been recommending it to all of my friends. Which sentences talk about something which happened regularly or more than once? Present perfect. Present perfect teacher. Mm. More than present perfect, aquí um, nos faltó el continuous, un present perfect continuous, let me write it just next to it. The present perfect continuous is the one who's going to help us to communicate that something started in the past and continues happening regularly. Or maybe when we're talking about something that happens more than once. When the action is repeatedly, we're going to use present perfect continuous this time. Sí, es decir que el, um, este presente perfecto continuo nos permite dar esa sensación de, como dice su tiempo, continuidad. Sí, hablamos de una acción que se repite, que tal vez empezó en el pasado, se repite en el presente y se con, sigue repitiendo, ¿sí? Va a continuar repitiéndose, algo que hacemos regularmente. Um, to make an example or to make you this whole class a little bit more easier, let me share with you the blackboard. So, we were talking about in this part, present, Perfect, as we discussed last class, and we are also talking about a little bit different tense, which is the present. Okay, here we have two different Right? Don't forget that we're 
when we are talking about perfect tenses, this means that you're going to use an auxiliary. And the auxiliary, it's going to be have or has. And in some cases, we're going to need something else. Todos los tiempos perfectos, es decir, presente perfecto, pasado perfecto, presente perfecto continuo, pasado perfecto continuo, todos los tiempos que ustedes escuchen con la palabra perfect se refiere que vamos a utilizar un auxiliar, ya sea have o has, si es presente, had, si es el pasado, ¿sí? En este caso, para el present perfect, nosotros utilizamos have o has, ¿verdad? ¿Y cómo va el, el verbo en el presente perfecto? Can you remember? Yes, past participle. So this is the structure of the present perfect. And we use it as we told before to talk about experiences, right? But what happens with these other tense? ¿Qué pasa con el, el, este presente perfecto continuo? Además de ustedes utilizar, eh, cuando ustedes ya uh, identifican y ven que ahí tiene la palabra perfecto, ustedes saben que van a utilizar un auxiliar, ¿no? Hablábamos del auxiliar have or has. Adicional, si ustedes tienen la palabra continuo, recuerden que continuo o progresivo. Puede ser present perfect progressive o present perfect continuous. Esa palabrita ya les dice a ustedes que hablamos de repetición, de algo que todavía está sucediendo, ¿sí? Ese continuous. ¿Y cuál es eh, la particularidad de los tiempos continuos? ¿En qué termina el verbo? ING. ING. Yes. Todos los tiempos continuos van a terminar el verbo con ING. Pero para que el verbo esté con ING, tiene que estar acompañado o antecedido de qué verbo. Past participle. No. Verbo to. Verbo to be. Todos los tiempos continuos no son continuos si no tienen un verbo to be y un verbo con ing. Si sí, los dos van juntitos, van de la mano. So, uh, we need the verb to be. Oops, sorry. Verb to be. In this case, the verb to be, it's going to be in past participle. Esa es la particularidad de este tiempo. Así que el verbo to be va a estar en su forma en pasado participio. Por eso es que ustedes van a encontrarse con oraciones, perdón, como la que tenemos en el ejemplo. I have been playing it all day long. Y aquí tenemos, miren, el auxiliar. Have in this case. El verbo to be en pasado participio al utilizar been. Sí, I've been, she's been. Ojo que este been no va a cambiar ni para he, she o it. Se va a mantener igual para todos. Es decir, podemos utilizar you have been or he has been. Lo único que cambiaría es el auxiliar. Sí, ahí sí mucho ojo. Has been o have been. Y el siguiente verbo con la terminación ing. So, I have been playing it all day long. Let me write here another sentence with he or she. He has or he has been um, watching TV. 
Uh, she's been, uh, or he has been watching TV. He has been watching TV all day. Aquí tenemos el auxiliar has. No se olviden, aquí sí es importante eh, considerar el sujeto. He has been watching TV all day. Y mantenemos lo mismo, ¿no? Been y watching. ¿Qué pasaría o cómo escribirían ustedes una oración negativa si fuese en presente continuo? En presente perfecto continuo. How would it be? Si ustedes quisieran decir, yo no he estado jugando todo el día. I haven't been. Exactly. La negación va en el auxiliar, ¿no? I haven't been playing all day long. Y lo mismo pasaría con... La, um, he hasn't, he hasn't, or he has not, he hasn't been playing, blah, 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 blah. Um, so this is just like a small review of this present perfect continuous that I think you have already wa uh, watched or learn it in a previous level, right? Creo que este tiempo ya lo vieron con anterioridad en un nivel anterior. Pero siempre está bien un poco recordar las diferencias entre ambos. What if you want to ask? ¿Qué pasa cuando ustedes quieren preguntar? ¿Qué es lo que cambia? Si por ahí alguien quiere decir, ¿has estado jugando todo el día? Have you been playing? Y continuamos la misma estructura con su complemento, ¿no? Have you been playing all day long? Or has he been playing? Sí, lo único que cambiamos es la posición del auxiliar y del sujeto. Has he been? Sorry. Thank you guys, yes. But um, now, when do we use this present perfect continuous and how do we notice the difference between both? ¿Cómo nos damos cuenta de la diferencia de, eh, de, un, de un tiempo al otro? Sí, muy, muy um, aparte de la estructura que ya vemos que es diferente. ¿Cuándo debemos utilizar cada uno de estos tiempos? We're going to see it. Let me share with you the presentation I prepared for you. So, um, later we're going to do this exercise about vocabulary, but first let's focus on this present perfect continuous. Here we have, guys, a short um, chart. You can see a small chart where, with the differences between both tenses. Uh, you're going to use a present perfect, just the present perfect tense, when you're talking about a finished action. For example, we were saying, I have just uh, downloaded the app. ¿Sí? Me acabo de descargar la aplicación. Es algo que ya finalizó, ¿no es cierto? Terminó la, la, la descarga, algo que ya tal vez finalizó. I have downloaded. The app. Aquí tenemos otro ejemplo. The kids have played for two hours. Algo que finalizó. Pero el presente perfecto continuo nos da como que esa sensación de que algo no está todavía concluido. ¿A qué me refiero? Por ejemplo, the kids have been playing since morning. Los niños han estado jugando desde la mañana. Ese desde la mañana todavía me deja la ventana abierta de que eh, puede, puede ser que ahorita estemos a media tarde y todavía los niños siguen jugando, ¿no? Todavía da esa sensación de continuidad, de que sigue sucediendo o repitiéndose esa acción. 
The kids have been playing since, since morning. Han estado jugando desde la mañana. Tal vez es la tarde y siguen jugando los niños, ¿no? Um, another difference between both tenses is that one is used for permanent actions. For example, para algo permanente, cuando um, no cambio en alguna actividad, ya se puede ver como algo permanente. En este caso, por ejemplo, lo que tenemos es, I have taught English for 12 years. He enseñado inglés durante 12 años. Es una acción permanente. Si ya lo he hecho durante 12 años, es muy probable que continúe hasta los 30 años. ¿sí? So, I have taught English for 12 years. Es una acción permanente. O oh, I have worked in the bank for 12 years. He trabajado por el banco por 12 años. Y probablemente voy a seguir trabajando hasta que me jubile, ¿no? O sea, es una acción permanente, algo que va a continuar. Uh, que no va a cambiar. Present perfect continues. On the other hand, you're going to use it for temporary actions. Por algo temporal nada más, el presente perfecto continuo. I have been teaching this class for one hour. He estado enseñando esta clase por una hora. Sí, pero tal vez ya a la siguiente hora voy a descansar, ¿no? So, I've been teaching English this class for an hour. Es un ejemplo de una acción temporal. Sí, dura una hora y tal vez algo más, pero no va a continuar tanto. Um, Then we have uh, emphasizing the result. This is another good uh, difference between both tenses. Si bien es cierto, ambos uh, tiempos son parte como de la misma familia, el presente perfecto, just present perfect, focuses more on the result of the action. Si sí, siempre se va a enfocar más en el resultado, el presente perfecto, en el resultado o en la consecuencia, por así decirlo. Sí, he has repaired the car. Él ha reparado el carro. Él ha arreglado el carro. Ese es el resultado de tal vez ir a la mecánica, ¿no? Él ha reparado el carro. Perfect. Pero el present perfect continuous siempre se va a enfocar más en cuánto duró. Sí, es en la duración. Por ejemplo, he has been repairing the car for two hours. Nos da ya como que eh, mucha más información sobre cuánto ha durado esa acción. ¿Sí? Cuánto ha estado repitiéndose esa acción. He has been repairing the car for two hours. He estado reparando el carro durante dos horas. La una se enfoca en el resultado y la otra más en el tiempo de duración de, de esa acción. Then we have how much, both, in both cases, a present perfect or present perfect continuous, in both cases, they indicate how much or how many. You can know how much or how many, but the difference is the duration with present perfect continuous. Como les decía, en el continuo, en el tiempo continuo, nos enfocamos más en el proceso, en la duración, ¿sí? Esa sería la diferencia en ambos casos. En la última diferencia, los dos tiempos nos permiten eh, saber cuánto o cuántos, ¿sí? ya sea en contables o incontables, pero eh, en el caso del tiempo continuo nos enfocamos más que es un proceso que continúa, que perdura. ¿sí? A eso nos referimos. Por ejemplo, he has been studying English. For two months. Él ha estado estudiando inglés por dos meses. Nos enfocamos como que más en el tiempo en el que se ha estado desarrollando esa acción. Um, this is more or less a bit of a differences of present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Do you have any questions guys about this? ¿Dudas o preguntas sobre la diferencia entre ambos tiempos? ¿Es it clear? ¿Not so clear? 
maybe it can be a little bit more clear if we make these sentences and we try to figure it out which tenses can we use. Yes. Let me let me uh, make a screenshot. I will share with you this this image, so you can um, work in groups. You're going to work in groups, and you will try to find the right answers. Okay. You can use present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. You got the image on your WhatsApp group. And now I'm going to make your groups. I'm going to uh, make your groups. And you're going to have, uh, I think that five minutes, it's a good time for you to complete these sentences, okay? Try to help each other. Traten de ayudarse, ¿sí? Traten de ayudarse a completar estas oraciones. Let's try to do this uh, 10 sentences in groups, okay? Um, let's see. Grace, what do you have to do now? In this activity, is in groups. And we complete the sentence with the present perfect or present perfect continuous. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Grace. And you have uh, five minutes for this activity, okay? So let me just recreate the groups. And there we go. You can enter to your groups, guys. Pueden ingresar a los grupos. Enter to the groups. She, she hasn't yeah. worked yet. Yes. She hasn't worked. Yes, she hasn't worked. Mm -hmm. On this problem yet. Yes, you can enter to your groups and answer the questions, guys. Okay, enter to your groups. Eh, se pregunta un punto menos, entonces ya. Yeah. Mar Marjorie, what apps have you got on your phone or tablet? I am sure, I am sure um, the, the, the application in my cell phone is Adidas Fit uh, uh, or purchase uh, or Facebook or Instagram uh, for chatting my my friend and my family. And you, Azu? Um, in my in my uh, in my phone, I have um, the. This, this are downloader. It's not the official APK in, in the Play Store, but it's very, very good application. These are, these are downloaders. You can, you can download all the music you want in a good quality. 
And the other is this this other music match because this APK translate any any song you want. Uh, and give you, you and give you the traduction uh, with with the translate. Tra translate in the in the same going to pass the song. It's like a karaoke. <laughs> Is that good? Uh, Wet and Kevin? The, um, the application that I had on my phone with WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, Spotify, and Teams. All these are very important for me. Audrey. Mm, I have a many application on my phone, but among the important are those in my social networks such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. And you? And you, Joanna? Uh, all right. La primera pregunta era cierta. Yes. Uh, the application that has an iPhone uh, in Steam, uh, Facebook, and WhatsApp, and Instagram. I have WhatsApp, <coughs> Facebook, Instagram, uh, Messenger, and other applications. The second fit uh, for Carla. Which apps do you like or, or use the most and which? Um, I like use um, health fitness because I do exercise every day. Excuse me, teacher. ¿Cómo se diría en mi caso para responder? You can say in my case on... Um, it works for me, ah, para mí, o en mi caso, in my case, o that would be the, the options, I think. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. in, my, in my case, I use WhatsApp, mm, WhatsApp eh, more, because I use uh, chatting with my classmates and teacher and teachers for uh, excuse me uh, and you Marlon uh, I I uh, I like uh, the app uh, YouTube uh, because uh, I like uh, watch uh, videos, uh, documentals, uh, and uh, okay, guys, thank you, thank you for coming back. I could listen to very interesting apps that you have on your phones. Some of them for uh, exercise to keep fit, and some others were for maybe. Um, listening to music and you know some apps uh, of social networks um now guys can you share with us some of these uh answers what apps have you got on your phone or tablet moni can you share with us what uh, apps do you have on your phone Mm 
money is not here. Come on. Uh, Brandon, can you help me with the answer of number one, please? Sure. In my phone, I have several applications such as Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp, Spotify, and others. Okay, so you use a lot of social networks. Uh, help me please with the answer of this one, Eric Kachuga, of number one. Um. I have applications about music, others that have helped me to study, and others to study support. Mm -hmm. So you have different um, kind of applications in your phone. Some are for studying, some are for relaxing. That's good. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Carlitos? What apps do you have in your phone? Uh, I have on my cell phone. Zoom, Teams, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. YouTube, uh, and the game parts. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. Um, what about you, Alexis? What apps do you have or have you got on your phone? Mm. On my cell phone, I have Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Netflix, Instagram, and Snapchat. Okay, so I can see some difference differences. Yes, money. Tell me. Ya puedo responder la primera. No podía activar el micrófono. Sure. Okay. Dice WhatsApps. Have you got on your phone or tablet? Okay. In my cell phone, I have different apps. For example, Facebook, YouTube. Instagram, but I don't have TikTok. Okay, you don't have TikTok. Yes, that's the difference. Some uh, students have different apps, right? Some have TikTok, some have a Spotify, some other uses, applications such as Teams. Exactly, thank you. Which apps do you like the most? And why? Which apps do you like the most? Um, and why? Please, can you help me with that, Wendy? Number two. Yes, um, I really like TikTok because I I can watch useful and funny videos, and mm -hmm. I used to cake for improve my English. And this is the most important apps for me. I am uh, uh, to WhatsApp and Instagram. And also WhatsApp and Instagram. That's something interesting what Wendy said. I, I wasn't a big fan of TikTok, but I saw that there are so good information about languages. There are tons of people who share just the small tricks of English, but that's very, very useful in if you want to improve your English and you use TikTok. So TikTok is a good option as Wendy tell, to, has told us. Uh, can you please share with us what which apps do you like the most and why, Daniel? Please. Are you there, Daniel? Yes, I'm here, teacher. I'm sorry so much. Mm -hmm. uh, the second? Yes, number two. The second question, which app do you like to use most? Well, I have a lot of apps for different things. And I don't know, maybe it's this or downloader, uh, maybe Duolingo. And uh, I have another for more engineering. I have transformers for tra transformations, the units. Mm -hmm. I use most that I, I don't like a lot the uh, social networks. So I, I don't know, maybe it's a waste of time, I thought. Okay, thank you. So you use a specific 
uh, apps for your work or maybe studies that can help you to work uh, faster. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Robert, yes. who help me with the answer for number two as well, please. All right. In my case, uh, the app that I use the most is Spotify because it has a lot of music and songs and I can uh, like uh, discover new music always. Yes, yes, it's, it's always uh, good to listen to music. And the good thing about uh, Spotify is that you can not only listen to music, you can also find uh, different podcasts in different languages. So you can uh, practice your listening in different languages. And you have uh, the subtitles now, you have the lyrics of the songs. So you can practice while you are reading the lyrics. Um, let's see, let's see another answer. Let's see someone else answer. Please, can you help me with the answer of number two, Christian? Yes, teacher. Number, number two. two. Yes. Oh, well, I I like uh, the video WhatsApp, games. WhatsApp, I think. No, no, no. I, I like more WhatsApp. I like uh, Mobile Legends. It's a video mm -hmm. game to the cell phone. And I I play with my um, with my friends and I talk in, in this game. It's a really interesting and funny <laughs> yes i can see that some some not just guys but also ladies are very into this league of legends mm -hmm. thank you aldrich what about you what apps do you like the most mm, i like twitter more because i found all a lot of news and also like twitch because i see a lot of streamers Okay, you can see streamers playing uh, in real time and you can also um, maybe have some news with Twitter. Yes, thank you. I haven't heard today to Kevin. Kevin, no ha hablado para nada, pasado, pero calladito. Kevin, number two. Um, the, the applications I like the most are WhatsApp that helps me communicate and you too to watch videos or listen to music. Thank you, Kevin. Can you help me with the answer of this one also, Santi, Santiago Mejia? Yes, number two. Um, I spend a lot of time on Discord uh, because I, uh, with communication, with my friends, uh, with where I play video games, and mm -hmm. the apps uh, uh, that I more uh, more important for me um, uh, video games uh, 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 with Mobile Legends, um, Call of Duty. Uh, I can play it with my friends, Be, uh, but I use other applications. Uh, um, uh, Google Chrome, I because I uh, look for a lot of things or to learn or, uh, or to spend my time. Okay, thank you, thank you. So very okay. interesting, you used a different applications. Can you help me with the answer of number three, ASU? How much time do you spend on social networks? Asu, are you there? Yes, teacher, I am, I am here. Um, I spent um, two hours uh, approximately, approximately in social networks. Okay, thank you. Two hours, okay. That's a fair time. 
Uh, what about you, Janet Zita? How much time do you spend on social networks? Um, usually in my my free time, free time mm -hmm. at night, um, for one one hour, one hours. One hour. Muy bien. Thank you. So, what about you? Um, let me see. Who hasn't talked yet? Me, me teach. Tell me. Tell me. In my experience, I'm pending all the time. And especially I use WhatsApp because I can think out about school days, homework, and especially important notice. Yes. Thank you, Erika. Yes, we, uh, in some cases, we need to be on social networks all day long because we need to be aware of some news or maybe of, of something that it's going to happen, especially to, to parents, I think. They need to be aware of their kids' classwork. So yes, sometimes we need to be more time that we would like to in social networks but there's no way to escape mm -hmm. and that would be it guys so today we talk as a as a very fast review we talk about the difference of a present perfect simple and present perfect continuous and we were also discover discovering about some apps and interesting information about technology that we use every single day in our lives. Um, now, I just want you to remember that uh, you can go to El Monasterio if you want to pick up your, your book. Don't forget to uh, take with you the invoice, the printed invoice, so they can give you your book. Um, you can go there from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pay attention to that. And that would be it for today, guys. Do you have any question? Do that, Danielito? No, teacher, thanks for your time. That's all we're going to say. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. No se olviden, si ya tienen el, el la, ¿cómo se llama esta? El, la factura impresa y pueden acercarse a retirar el, el libro al monasterio, háganlo en el, eh, pues de lunes a viernes en el horario de oficina que sería de 8 de la mañana a 4 de la tarde. Eh, Y llevar impresa la, la factura porque les piden impresa. Pueden retirar libros de niveles anteriores sin ningún problema. Igual llevando la factura impresa no hay ningún inconveniente. No se olviden de ir avanzando esta semana, chicos, y a la unidad 2 en la plataforma de Cambridge. La parte A y la parte B. ¿sí? Vamos avanzando. La unidad 1 debería estar ya completa. Vamos avanzando la parte 2 ya. Uh, any other question, guys? Alguna duda o pregunta que tengan puede ser sobre la clase, sobre los libros o sobre cualquier otra inquietud. Y también no se olviden que tienen las tutorías si es que desean. ¿Alguien prendió el micrófono? No alcanza a ver el nombre. Se llama. Respecto a la plataforma, eh, la sesión de la unidad 1, usted nos va a activar, ¿verdad? Porque nos había dicho que también hagamos. Pero sí, está bloqueada. Ya les desbloqueo la, los test. Me parece que les, me hace falta de, desbloquearles. Yes. Uh -huh. Ya les desbloqueo para que puedan hacer los test del assessment, la parte de assessment. 